What do y'all think about PayPal to buy crypto? Um, didn't know that you could do that. I didn't know, I don't know, I know PayPal I think is doing something to accept, right, PayPal as currency. And I know me and my own business, when I reopen my coaching program, I'm going to be accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment uh, and Ethereum. So hopefully PayPal sets something up for me or maybe Stripe, I don't know, but that'll be a lot of fun. Notice it said up 33%. Y'all need to seriously look into crypto. Yeah, let be careful now because my account looked pretty but some days it just wow it goes down then it shoots up you know i i i've been buying cryptocurrency since uh august september of 2020 and then when bitcoin shot up i had already owned it i was buying ethereum when it was like three four hundred dollars a coin now it's like thirteen hundred dollars twelve hundred dollars I was buying Bitcoin when it was in the 20, in the 20s, in the 17,000, 17,000, 20,000, but now it's at 31,000. Then it jumped to 40. And so I don't really care what the price is. My objective as a kingdom citizen is to obtain some of that. Because the way that stuff is going right now, hey, you're going to see a lot of accidental millionaires. You're going to see a lot of them. It's just going to accidentally become a millionaire because they made a right move can you go over the crypto card section you covered earlier in the video it seems better to get cash back from these types of cards than a cash back from traditional banks sure let's let's take a look i'll plug my phone up again so this is not a credit card this is a debit card is money you, li you literally have to add money into the card to use it you're not getting credit for anything so go to card details, full card details. So 3% cash back on everything I spend. I get 100% reimbursement on Spotify and Netflix. What a way to save money. Just run it through the card and they're going to give me money back. 100% reimbursement for Spotify and Netflix. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Look, Spotify reimbursement up to $12.99 a month. Netflix reimbursement up to $13.99 a month. Not bad, kid. Look, no monthly fee, no annual fee, no delivery charge. Not bad, kid. Oh, look, zero fee if I want to go to the ATM and withdraw U.S. dollars. Not bad, kid. Could you skip IBC and go to crypto? Sure, Sharon. Sure. Let's say you're... Okay. Let's say you're like Denzel... I want to learn everything there is to cryptocurrency. I want to get a job in cryptocurrency. I want to invest in crypto businesses. I want to invest in the blockchain. I want to become a master, a teacher, an educator, create a product, a service in the crypto space. If you are, if you have that mentality, then something like IBC might be a what? A distraction. I may want to put all my energy into that first, create value from it, get, get paid. And then when I look at my financial plan, I say, okay, how much money do I save per month? How much money do I give per month? How much money do I invest per month? For me personally, all I showed you was money that I spend. I'm going to spend 70 grand a year, right? I'm gonna spend it. No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna spend $40,000 a year. So I pull it out, right? Probably more, probably 50, 60, for certain bills, for certain bills that I'm running through here, right? Part of that 70,000 is my savings. Money that I save, I don't touch. I don't touch. So if I'm not gonna touch it, where can I put money that I'm not going to touch that's going to work effectively for me? Is it in stocks? Is it in a Roth IRA? Is it in gold, silver? Is it in a health savings account? Is it in real estate? Is it in IBC? Is it in crypto? I don't know. I'm 25 years old. I'm just showing you what I'm doing. I'm learning, learning. 
I'm saying, oh, HSA, not so bad, triple tax benefit. Oh, gold and silver, not so bad. Oh, stocks, yeah. Roth IRA, tax-free, cool. IBC, tax-free, cool. Crypto.com, advanced. Okay, I like you. That's all I'm doing. Don't forget that every time you move your crypto from one something token to another or into fiat, it will create a tax event. Very interesting, Paul. I tell you what, I don't know how they're going to find me because I'm using cold storage things. I don't know how it works when it comes to taxes. So I'm completely in the dark, in the wind. I don't know, being honest. I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. I could care less. Whatever the tax rate is, it's going to be less than what I'm making, more than likely. More than likely. Now, when it came to that, uh, whatchamacallit, when it came to the, the crypto card, right, for that one, when it comes to this crypto card, I'm putting my cash, like cash, put it back into here and I use the cash to, to pay certain bills where I get a higher cash back return. So all the other cryptocurrencies are staying. I'm not, I'm not extracting it. If I do extract it, it's going to a cold storage. That's what's happening. It's going to a cold storage. 